the huge question of whether you should boost a post or actually use Facebook ads manager to run your Facebook ads is a question going around. And I know that a lot of people are confused about it. I find a lot of the videos right now on YouTube are very outdated with their information and dates back to like almost a year ago. So this is the new 2021 updated version of should you boost a post on Facebook or actually use ads manager? Now, the short answer is that you should always be using ads manager, but I'm going to run you through why I'm going to compare the two and actually run through the whole process of creating an ad with ads manager and just boosting a post and run you through why those differences are significant and how actually running your ads through ads manager is going to get you more results and the ones that you actually want to be profitable. So my name is Sydney. Again, if you haven't been to this YouTube channel, welcome. And if you're coming back here, welcome back. Uh, we talk about all things Facebook ads. And today, like I said, we're going to be talking about boosting a post versus ads manager. So before we get started, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already already put the little notification bell on so you know when we release new videos and share this video with a friend if you think they would benefit from this type of content so let's dive right in so probably one of the main reasons that you're boosting a post right now is because you don't really have the knowledge to go into ads manager and learn how to navigate and everything which is absolutely fine you can if you check out our youtube channel we'll have a ton of content about how to create a Facebook ad and even how to set the Facebook pixel, which are things that you need to be doing on both sides, whether you're boosting a post or using ads manager. But typically if you're just starting out and you want to get a feel for Facebook ads and spending a little bit of money, you're going to be pressing that boost a post button if you don't really know any better. So I hope today's video can sort of enlighten you on the fact that learning how to use ads manager is worthwhile. You're going to get better results and you can still use the same content and the same existing posts that you have on your Facebook page to promote it with ads manager. It's just a different way of doing it. The difference between using Facebook ads manager and using boost and boosting a post is sort of like when you're just starting out a business and maybe it's a side hustle. Usually it's pretty fine if you are just getting those e-transfers or getting cash for the products or for the service that you're doing. But as you grow up and you have more clients or customers coming in, eventually you're going to need to actually get a real bank account that people can actually send you money for and you need to start charging tax and actually filing sales that you're making. And that's sort of an analogy I like to use for this. Like boosting a post is really good if you're just starting out trying to get a feel for it. But as you grow and as you are getting more sales or you're looking to get more sales, you're going to need to run your ads from ads manager. Okay, so as promised, I'm splitting my screen in two. On the left side, it is ads manager. And on the right side, it's boosting a post. This is what the two views would look like um, as of right now in 2021. So I'm going to go over here and press create. And right over here is the boost a post guide that it would bring you to. So right to start off, the campaign objectives that you see over here are going to be far better and there's more of them than typically what you'd see in your boost a post option. By default, Facebook sets this as automatic and for pe most people starting out, they would probably let Facebook select the most relevant goal based on your settings. That sounds really good, but in reality, that's not what you want to do. You want to tell Facebook exactly what it is that you want and then from there, you can let it use its AI system. So let's go change because I would always suggest you do that. Even if I do suggest as manager, you should always change this one because how does Facebook actually know what your goal is? And you can see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six options over here in boost the post that you have access to. Now, as an agency owner, we're always going to recommend that our clients use a conversion objective because typically if you're spending money, you want to be getting money back. In some scenarios, you might you know, use a traffic campaign or use a brand awareness campaign, but typically you're going to want to get more website purchases. So right over here, we have conversions. So if I was using ads manager, I would press conversions and right over here, I press get more website visitors, but already you can see how limited these are when it comes to uh, choosing your objective. Also, get more website purchases is typically going to only be using the Facebook pixel to track this and without using the conversion API and setting that whole thing up, then you probably wouldn't get those accurate results because it's only used in Facebook pixel. We know that people who opt out of iOS 14 tracking are not going to be able to be tracked. So I'm not sure even how accurate that would be. So, um, when you're using ads manager, you're going to get lots of warnings, um, in your dashboard right over here. Usually it would show up at the top or in your resource center of things that need to be done. The first one is the Facebook conversion API. 
The second is setting up your pixel to actually track these events that you want Facebook to be tracking and in which order, which is aggravated event measurement and also verifying your domain. So these are all things that need to be done and that may not be mandatory when you're just boosting a post. So already you're missing out on really, really key aspects of running Facebook ads by just simply boosting a post. So let's go back into our, uh, our builder here. Now, as we move down here, just right at the campaign level, you'll see that we don't even have the same options in the boosting a post as we do in actual ads manager. So the first one is the AB split testing. So you aren't able to test two different creatives and see which one performs best. That might seem a little bit more advanced for people just starting out, but as you move down the line, these are gonna be really, really important and getting the hang of it in the beginning is going to give you a head start for when you actually do wanna get more serious with your Facebook ads. Secondly, you don't have the option to set campaign budget optimization or set the budget at the ad set level. So budget obviously is a huge factor when it comes to your Facebook ads. And typically if something's working, you want to be able to add more budget to it. And you also can't do that with boosting a post. So here we have the option between lifetime budget and daily budget in boosting a post. If you scroll down a little bit, we only have a lifetime budget and you have to send an end date. But if your ad is working out well and you wanted to increase it, you would have to create a new ad because that cha that can't change can't be made once you've already published it. So that's a huge barrier. Press next here and we go to the ad set level. Let's see what else we don't have access to. So as a conversion event, we do have options here like app messenger or WhatsApp on boosting a post. We only have the option of sending it to um, a website that you don't have the option of choosing other events aside from potentially making more purchases on the website. So this is all we have with the Facebook ads manager. Here are events that you can track is, um, lead or people actually just viewing the content on your page or they add the payment info or they're adding to cart. So these are all other metrics that you might want to use and you don't have the option to with boosting a post. So like I said at the beginning, this is really just to start out. And as you want to scale up and actually improve your Facebook ads and get the results that are, are more profitable for your business, you're going to need to use ads manager. Okay, so once we get down to the audience section, this is where you're even more limited. With Ads Manager, we can either choose to include audiences, which could include custom audiences, which boosting a post does not allow you to have. A custom audience would be like, you download your customer list, you upload it to Facebook, and then you can create a lookalike audience, or you could just simply retarget your actual customers. If you have a sale coming up or a VIP member list. So that option is not available with boosting a post. The only thing that you have access to is people who visited your website, which you can't choose that date range, whether it was 30 to 60 days ago, if it was over 100, or if it was up to 180 days ago. So this would be including everyone. Facebook is the one choosing that for you. And these are really options that you wanna have control over and not let Facebook decide for you. Now, the other option is choose people through targeting. So they have some information here. If I go and press edit, you do have the option to choose between men, women, but like I said, you don't have the option like an ads manager over here to use, you know, people who booked a strategy session and also downloaded your resources because those might be really hot leads for you or really important people you want to retarget, but you don't have the option to when you're using just boost a post. Secondly, you can't exclude any audiences with boosting a post. So that's huge. You don't want to be showing your customers who just bought from you ads over and over again, right? Like if I go to Zaffle, I buy a bathing suit. I don't want to continue seeing their ads. I just bought from them and my things haven't even come in the mail yet. Right, so that can cause ad fatigue and just give you a bad reputation. And this is something that you can't control by just boosting a post regularly. And you can even see here that when you, if you go to boost a post, it even says for advanced targeting features, go to ads manager. So that just brings home the fact that you should be using ads manager. Now, the next thing would be the actual placements that you can choose to put your ad in. So if you go to the boosting a post option and I scroll down on the placements here, you'll see Instagram. I can't even uncheck Facebook. So if you only wanted to show your ads on Instagram, then you wouldn't have that option here and messenger. Whereas at the ad set level in your ads manager, typically we are going to recommend choosing automatic placements, but if you wanted to manually select those placements, you have much more options here. 
that you do not have when you're just boosting a post regularly. And we're actually not currently running any ads from this account right now. So we have no conversion events available for this pixel, um, which is fine. I'm not actually gonna post this ad. But when we actually get to the ad level, let's look at what the, the limited options we have there. So when we actually get to the ad level, obviously there's gonna be so many limitations at this area because all you've done is you've both boosted that one post. If you wanted to make any changes to it, you couldn't. But one thing that's really fun about ads manager is that you could use this very specific post to promote. You could actually go into your ads manager. You could choose to use an existing post. Scroll down here to select post. And then you could choose from any of the posts that you have on Facebook or Instagram and just choose to promote that one. So you're not limited in using existing posts. But what you would be limited to is creating multiple headlines to find the best um, combination for that specific person. Don't have the option to add a headline. Over here, you see all it is, the preview here is Vertex Marketing Agency, or it would be your business name that shows up, which you might wanna add a specific headline for that specific product or for the specific service that you're offering, but you don't have that option when you're just boosting a post, which could just kind of confuse the user and just throw them off. You don't have the option to add a description. The only buttons that you'll have here available um, are these ones right here. But if you wanted any others, um, you wouldn't have that option. So right over here, we have all of these different options here. One more thing I totally forgot to mention when I was recording my video originally was the lack of customization that you have for the different placements inside of ads manager. So when you're boosting a post, it's that simple one post and whether it's a square or it's sort of a more of a rectangle size, that is the only post and the only image that you're gonna be able to use for that one boosted post. Inside of ads manager, we have access to this little edit button, edit group, um, edit group, and that will allow you for the stories and reels to add a nine by 16 ratio which is 1080 by 1920. Um, for the feeds, you could add, if it's a video, you could add a, a four by five ratio or an actual square. And for the right column, you have the option to, for that very specific placement, to add more of the rectangle square. So then here you would see all of the different options and what it would look like in those different placements, which you simply do not get when you're just boosting a post. There's multiple reasons that you should be using ads manager versus just boosting a post. And like I said, if you're just starting out and you're just learning how to use the platform, you know, you can get started with boosting a post and just see how that goes. But if you wanna scale up and actually get better results for usually less money and just be more profitable, you're going to need to use Ads Manager. So if you have any issues with that, we do have full videos about how to navigate through Business Manager, the difference between Business Manager, Ads Manager, boosting a post, or any other thing that you need to set up like the conversion API, Facebook's aggravated event measurement, the Facebook pixel. These are all types of videos and tutorials that we have on our YouTube channel. And you can go check that out so that you can actually get better results and actually know how to learn the platform and not be super overwhelmed. And that's really what the goal is here. So I hope this kind of clears it up. Bottom line is that you should be using a Facebook ads manager and not boosting a post. And I hope by seeing how much limitation you have with boosting a post, this makes you want to be able to learn uh, Facebook ads manager. Now, secondly, if this seems so overwhelming to you and even through watching YouTube videos, you still really aren't sure how to navigate through everything, we actually do offer consulting for businesses who want to learn themselves. They know that this is a task that they and a skill that they want to learn, but they just don't really know how to do it themselves. So if that does interest you, I will leave a link in the description where you can just go ahead and book a call with us and that will allow you to basically come on to calls ask any question that you want which is honestly something I wish that I sort of took up on when I was just starting my Facebook ads journey but I know it can be super overwhelming so if that does interest you please do not hesitate to get in contact with us as well as we have a Facebook group and we also post videos every single week so that's another reason that you should definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel and put that notification bell on so that's it for today and we'll see you in the next YouTube video.